Mm. What's going on, fam? It's your favorite entrepreneur, Base and Mental. Welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. And in this video today, we're gonna get into my animation fusion series. And as promised, today we're gonna go over the Sakura and Maka combination. I called her Makora Ruab. I know, right? Enjoy the video. And if you're feeling froggy, leap over to my Instagram. I also have the finished picture posted there. Uh, and I'll probably lay out a bit of her backstory as well. Let's get it cracking. In terms of my process of creating these characters, I of course found out about their universes. Sakura being from Naruto, Maka being from Soul Eater. I decided it would be dope if they were the same character winning. Then I'm a very curious person, so as soon as I thought that would look cool, my first question was, well then what will Maka's weapon be? It just blew up. I actually put a picture up of Sakura's character design along with Maka's and like really took out the parts that I thought helped you recognize each character. Sort of amalgamized them. I fused them. Amalgamized? I don't even know if that's a word. They were amalgamed. Picked out the pieces I thought would look really cool together. Like instead of giving her a skirt, I kept the pants and I kept that long flowy uh, coat that they both have, especially when Sakura gets older in, in the anime, like in terms of Boruto and everything. Then I tweaked it a bit. I took off the sleeves, I kept the gloves, but opened the fingers. Majority of Maka's boots, but I kept uh, also a lot of the Naruto aesthetic of shoes. And I gave her really long hair, make it pink, because Sakura. And her weapon, in my mind, was she kept the scythe, but it became more of a, a axe, along with the hammer hat. It's like kind of like Thor in Avengers, which I'm super psyched to see in game. To me, that made sense because of all the strength and stuff she now has from learning from Tsunade. Hence the dot in the middle of her head. Makura is the daughter of Tsunade. In spirit, you know from Zoe Eater, Tsunade, uh, she didn't have a daughter. Makura was the closest thing she probably had to a daughter, and she taught Sakura her super strength and everything. And I thought, that made, to me, that fits Maka's character. And I chose Tsunade because in Soul Eater, you never meet Maka's mom. So I thought it'd be good to give her a look. Makora goes through a lot of the usual of Maka's story, except she has a really, really big weapon. Yeah, instead of them hunting Kishins, I, so I decided they should be hunting Jinchiri Keys. I wanted to call them like Kishiduki, cross between Kishin and Jinchuriki. So that way it still keeps the sort of com combination of the universes because those are like really big characters in both. The, the Jinchuriki are sort of like the ultimate beasts in Naruto where the Kishin are the weapons and humans that have gone towards like a demonic path. I thought it'd be kind of cool to just combine the names like he, uh, Kishiduki or Jinchurishin. I wanted an excuse to create the Kishin Hunter. And I wanted that rainbowy look, but of course, got a little too excited with the colors. So, learned from it, and I'm definitely gonna be applying it when I try other characters. Cause there is another one coming. You saw the first sketch in my last video about foreshortening. I hope y'all checking out that series. I didn't like the pose too much cause I wanted to really, really like flesh out the character and get a nice looking like clothing design. That resulted in me changing the pose cause I wanted to show a bit more. I have a bunch of sketches and really trying to like figure this stuff out. I basically took that sketch, redrew it much bigger on a different sheet of paper or what I call like my piece book and it's blue and that's where I put like all my finished images and everything like that and I keep my sketches in a separate book. Basically everything you've seen me do in those previous tutorial videos are basically what I do in this one. There's shortening, there's perspective, there's overlap, there's line work, there's a bunch of stuff. Shape. All of that. It turned out almost exactly as I want. I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to tell where I messed up. But that's because I started getting too hyper with the color with the with the uh with the the utensil I was using. I was using 
I'm not sure if you've heard of them. If you have, you're a real MVP. If you haven't, these are chameleon pins. There's like an alcohol chamber here where it actually dilutes the color chamber or the color marker that you have in the other side. So you can create a gradient of color like we learned in shading, which is why you should be checking out those tutorials. And that gradient of color you can then use to create like different uh, blends of color. But I love these markers. These markers are dope. They help me out a lot. I'm pretty sure I have quite a few images on my Instagram about these. They are dope, dope, dope. If you don't have them, you should get them. They can be pretty pricey, but to me it's worth it. A whole bunch of color in one of these. They have a plethora of colors. Let, let me just show you. This box is like all, like the big box set that they have of all of their colors. And all of those colors look really, really good done right. Like, look, they look really, really good on paper. And if you use them properly, your pictures will turn out amazing. So if you get these, you get the chance to get them, cop them, experiment with them, because to me, they are worth it. They're phenomenal little, little, little utensils. I recommend them. One of the best things made. I really, really enjoyed doing this. So I'm excited to make more. I have a, quite a few of them planned out. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed the little bit of background of her that I can give in this video. I'll be breaking it further down in the Instagram post about my, uh, my Cora. Thank you all for stopping by. I appreciate you coming back to the channel. Of course, as always, it's your favorite entrepreneur, base and mental, saying be creative, play your cards, change the game. All right, fam? I will see you in the next video. For a distant star, don't stop now. Isn't it strange to have a safe and home? To the deck out in days until the second go. If you're gonna make a change, you have to let me know. Turn the shit around, just let it down the nose. It's all you need to do.